Alright guys, I'm here at DEW with Paul Burke with um, Guru, which is a digital storytelling company for cultural institutions. So Paul, tell us a little bit about what Guru does. Right, so we partner with cultural institutions, like museums, zoos, or aquariums to enhance the visitor experience. So you've been to a museum where they give you like an old clunky audio tour. Yeah. And so instead of that, you get a mobile app on your phone. As you walk around, it knows right where you are. So if you walk up to a painting, it tells you information about you know, where it's from, it'll give you text, audio, video, we do a lot of augmented reality so you can look at a painting, it'll actually come to life. A portrait will tell you its story, uh, sort of things like that really make museums fun and interesting. Um, and then we're doing a lot in VR now, where like, recreating whole museums around the world in VR, so maybe you want to go to the Getty, but you're in Germany, you can put on a headset, walk around the entire Getty from wherever you are, and then just actually step inside of paintings, or you know, go to Egypt and learn about you know, a certain artifact that's actually in the museum. Wow, that's so cool! Yeah. And if I were to go to a museum and like look up a painting that I really like, am I able to save it like on my phone? Yes, yeah, so that's one of the best parts. Is yeah. if you've been to a lot of these big museums, there's so much there. So much. So one of the nice things about having the app on your phone is that you can favorite anything you want. Take it home, do a deeper dive later, um, and then you know see things that are related to it exactly. So you can take it all home and enjoy it from wherever you want. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That's something that I could, like my personal life, like I feel like I would enjoy that a lot. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been a lot of fun and we're trying to get, we're trying to make museums fun for people, you know, younger people who yeah. don't necessarily want to go or think they're boring or stale. So all the content, we, we do all the technology and all the content creation. So mm -hmm. the content that we focus on is really more story based. So as, as opposed to what kind of brush stroke is this, it's like, you know, what's the crazy story about this painter? Like, what inspired him to do something like this? So wow, that's so cool. Meant to be fun. Yeah. yeah, so it takes you like into the life of the painter or what, whatever. Yeah, whatever the story, whatever, whatever the good story is. is. Yeah, exactly. That's so cool. And yep. were you um, the founder of this company? Yeah, so I'm the CEO and founder. We started just about two years ago. I've got uh, two other founders as well, and yes, we're got about team about 25 now. We're growing quickly and moving into you know all sorts of new. That's so cool. And where is um, Guru based? We're based in San Diego. San Diego. So, yeah, not too far from LA, so we're, we're up here quite a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, San Diego's not a bad place to, to be. Yeah, definitely not. Perfect weather yep. over there. Can't beat it. <laughs> as far as startups go in San Diego, how is the startup culture there? Because you know, you hear a lot in like Silicon Valley, Silicon Beach, but um, how is it in San Diego? It's improving. It is? Uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's it, it's been a more challenging place. For, like, we're, we're like the best. Um, incubator down there called Evo Nexus and being in there has been great yeah. and so we're surrounded by a lot of other companies but everyone definitely has there's some struggles in being in San Diego but it's really the tide's changing there's a lot of talent that's coming there totally. cost of living is way better than places like San Francisco or Silicon Valley yeah. you can't beat the, the temperature the climate um, and so we're starting to see a big shift there's a lot of really amazing companies down there yeah. the investors don't have a lot of competition down there so they're getting really really great deals as well oh, um, cool. so yeah I think San Diego's really sort of trying to be soon setting itself apart for other places. It's a great startup. Yeah, definitely. Because I see like, you know, there's not that much going on with like tech stuff there, but it's like so much room for growth and like so much more coming. Yeah, you'll yeah. definitely see some really cool companies coming out of there. Like some of the companies that we incubate with at Evil Nexus are pretty they're doing absolutely incredible things. That's so, so awesome. We just had another company from a former former Google guy move move his whole team down to San Diego to, to found it there, so yeah, you're seeing a lot of new, really cool fun things. Yeah, well, your company's super cool, too. Yeah, it came out of there, so. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, we can be one of the cornerstones of that and a good success story for San Diego. That's awesome. I yeah. see it happening. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> so, as far as investing goes, um, did you look for investors in San Diego when you were starting your startup? Or, like, did the incubator, like, help a lot with that for funding and stuff? Yeah, so I was in a lucky position. I'd been successful in my previous venture, so I was able to fund Guru uh, for the first year or so. And then my brother stepped in and he funded as well. So. We waited until we reached cash flow positive, mm -hmm. and then we just finished raising a large round to help us expand. So we actually raised from a group in Chicago. Oh. Um, so we, we sort of scoured all over. I'm originally from Chicago, which is part of the reason that happened. Nice, I love uh, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago's another great city. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, so we, we, we looked all over the place, um, but we part of it for us was we want to expand more in Chicago as well, so having strategic investors there was, was a smart move. Yeah, and there's a lot of museums in Chicago too, so that yeah, really helps. Exactly. So. Yeah. That's one of the ones I grew up going to, so those are the ones that ultimately we want to get into, like the Art Institute in Chicago, Lincoln Park Zoo, and yeah. stuff like that.
Very cool. So San Diego's not too far away, but um, how did you hear from, about DEW? Like, what made you want to come to Digital Entertainment World? One of the uh, people on the board of Evo Nexus, the incubator, oh, cool. was um, a VC, one of the firms sponsoring. So mm -hmm. she heard about it and she sent me an email. She said, you guys should definitely apply to this. So yeah. we applied. I have no idea if we'd get in or not. And so yeah, we're happy to be, really lucky to be a finalist. And, yeah, I get to do my pitch this afternoon, so see how it goes. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah this is a great event. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, what's, what are one of the coolest things that you found being here and stuff? Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's a very different conference for us. We All the conferences we go to are really focused on museums or zoos or things like that. So yeah. getting to see what some of these technologies that are you know, more entertainment focused yeah. has been really cool for us because we, we sort of take on, you know, we're a technology company, but we also have that the creative side, so understanding and seeing what some of these other companies are doing from the entertainment side is really, really cool. Yeah, that's great. It's a great place to network and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. met some really interesting people. Sure. That's so cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Youngery is all about young entrepreneurs. Okay. So um, what piece of advice would you give any startup, any person that's wanting to create something um, or just go for their dreams? Uh, you just got to be persistent yeah. over and over and over again. I mean. With, with everything you do, you, you have to be nimble enough to know when you need to pivot. Yeah. But I can just say that you know, our space is really slow. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of you know, reaching back out to people over and over again. Same mm -hmm. thing with investors. The guys that end up you know, coming and investing with us, we've been in contact with them for nine months and just kept going back. We're like, we think you guys are the guys, you know, and we finally got it. So right. it's like you keep knocking on the door and finally you know, it's going to open. But just being persistent. You know, not not trying to get too discouraged because it can be yeah. it can be very discouraging. <laughs> I bet, yeah, and that's like so important as well because I've noticed with entrepreneurship, it's like all about connections. It's all about who you know. You know, as far as in the beginning stages, because mm -hmm. you're really trying to push your product and um, not not giving up on like who um, is gonna like it or not. You know right. what I mean? Just just going out there and putting it out there regardless. Yeah, we never say no. Like that's yeah. sort of our thing. It's like we were told to apply to this. Like, okay, right, yes, because we. Every time that we've thought, like, oh, we don't know even why we're going to this thing, yeah. we've had a really good outcome from it. So, so yeah, being persistent, never say no. If you have an opportunity to go talk about your company, go talk about it. I, anytime I sit on a plane, I, yeah. I bore the people sitting next to me, but then I got, a, I got a meeting at a huge zoo just because the guy next to me had donated a bunch of money there at some point. Like, right. We're sitting on a Southwest flight. Like, it was totally random. You'd have no yeah, idea. Yeah, you so, totally. Seriously, like, I feel like when you first, like, have this... Um, inspiration and you have this company and you want to keep talking about it it's like you never know who you're gonna be sitting next to exactly. yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and just take that chance and talk about your company because sure. it's important to you so it might be important to other people out there so. yeah. all right cool all right everybody stay hungry all right thanks <laughs> thank you that was great